patients with high cholesterol uh, live lives in, uh, with high risk of heart attacks and strokes. Um, efforts to reduce cholesterol, to reduce that risk, have been going on for a long time, and statins have been at the center of that effort. More recently, a new class of drugs, the PCSK9 inhibitors, have come onto the scene. Uh, they're, they're drugs that can massively reduce cholesterol levels and hold great promise in terms of reducing heart attacks and strokes. Uh, the issue uh, that we are addressing is that that great promise is at that stage. It is promise. And we don't have strong evidence yet that the ability of these drugs to reduce cholesterol massively will uh, translate into improved outcomes for patients that use them. So we hope that the clinicians that read this piece will feel that uh, this gives them reason to pause, to have meaningful discussion with their patients about the best course of action, and to stick to the extent possible to the proven interventions. Patients must remember these drugs have been approved without a, a significant evidence of long-term safety and without significant evidence of effect on reducing heart attacks and strokes. We know they can make the cholesterol numbers go low, uh, very low, and in fact it's quite possible that they can reduce cardiovascular risk and strokes, we just don't know yet. The concern with these medications is that uh, they do reduce a lot LDL cholesterol, way beyond uh, statins, which is the uh, standard therapy, but the concern is that uh, reducing cholesterol doesn't lead directly to reduced cardiovascular events. So the concern is that uh, even though they're good at reducing LDL cholesterol, we don't know for now that they're actually good in reducing cardiovascular risk and outcomes.